morning. Happy Saturday, everyone. We've got another very cold weekend on the way, especially today. This will be the worst of the cold, struggling to get into the mid teens, but mostly sunny skies and we start to warm up on Sunday. It is the start of a pretty significant warm up, which we'll get into in this forecast, but we got to get through the cold weather first. We've got that wind chill advisory in effect for the entire tri state area here through 9 a.m. on Sunday, as we'll see wind chills in the 5 to 15 degrees below zero range. And as we put the model into motion, you'll be able to see those brutal wind chills. Uh, so you really want to cover up any exposed skin and, and limit your pets time outdoors as well. They can get frostbite as well. And notice single digit wind chills here by the time we get to Sunday morning uh, as well. And with those cold wind chills, you have to be mindful of how long it takes to get frostbite. Uh, you know, I lived and worked in North Dakota for a couple of years. Frostbite is a very dangerous thing. Uh, you definitely want to take it seriously uh, and keep yourself covered or indoors as much as possible. As we take you through the rest of the day for your neighborhood across the tri-state, just another brutally cold day. Temperature single digits and teens for the most part. Uh, but as I said, there will be sunshine and it is the start of a warming trend. We're into the upper 20s by tomorrow, into the 40s by Monday and then 50s and maybe 60s by the time we get to the end of the week. Unfortunately, you won't be able to enjoy this warm weather because it's going to come with increased rain chances. Now, as we look deeper out into the future, next six to 10 days, uh, very strong confidence in above average temperatures from the Climate Prediction Center that continues eight to 14 days out. So it looks like we're putting this Arctic outbreak finally in the rear view mirror. We talked about those rain chances. By the time we get to Tuesday, rainfall overspreading the area could be moderate to heavy at times. That continues as we get into Wednesday and maybe even Thursday and Friday as well. So a pretty wet work week uh, is on the way. Highs today, very chilly, very cold, depending on your level of tolerance for the cold in the teens. And then tonight, I think the models aren't handling the cold that well. I think we'll, many, many of us will dip below zero. But it's the last really brutally cold day. We start to warm up as we get into the work week, but you can see those temperatures much more tolerable. But those rain chances look very, very good starting Tuesday through the rest of the work week.